everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda and today I am bringing you this Wonder Woman inspired makeup look. And I just want to wish you a happy 4th of July. When I first saw the movie, I absolutely loved it and I knew I had to do a makeup tutorial based on how she looked. And so this is inspired, it's not identical, obviously. Um, so I just thought it would be a lot of fun to do a Wonder Woman themed makeup tutorial for the 4th of July and I hope you have an amazing 4th of July that's safe and fun and you get to see beautiful fireworks and I thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one enjoy the video so the first thing we're going to do is go in with a blending brush I'm using TNT 132 and I'm gonna go in with our transition shade. I'm gonna be mixing the shade Bones and Pirate Chest from the Lorax Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Mentel No Tells palette. So um, Bones is like a neutral, cool tone, very light brown, and Pirate's Chest is a warm brown, if that makes sense. I'm just going windshield wiper motions, kind of messy all over the crease, bringing kind of on my eyelid, on my brow bone, no rhyme or reason. Next, I'm going to be using another TNT 132 blending brush with the Lorax Beauty and the Beast eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be taking the gold bronze shade called My Castle. And I'm going to be putting that low on my crease on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just going to blend it out. I'm using a very light hand to do this as well. And I'm focusing most of the product on the outer corner of my eye and then slowly bringing it. Next, I'm going to take TNT 154, it's an eyeshadow brush, with Max Fix Plus, and I'm just going to lightly mist it, and then I'm going to use the shade Enchanted, it's like a nice light gold champagne color that I'm going to use on my lid, it has a nice shimmer to it, and I'm just putting this all over my lid, and you can see I'm kind of swiping and patting it onto my lid to prevent any fallout. So next, I'm going to be using the Pirates palette again with a pencil brush, any pencil brush will do, and I'm going in with the shade Arg. So Arg is like a shimmery, dark brown shade. I kind of wanted to add a little more dimension to this look and give a little more of a very slight smoky effect because in the movie, she has very natural makeup, but at the same time, like you see a little bit of darkness on the outer corner of the eye. So I just kind of wanted to bring that in. So you just want to blend it out and focus only on the outer corner of the eye, slowly bringing it to the crease. And then I'm just taking a blending brush with no product on it and just blending it all out. Because I want everything to be seamless and I do this on both eyes, I just don't have it showing here. So then once this is done, we are going to go in with Mady from the... Pirates Caribbean palette with the same eyeshadow brush and I'm just putting this on the brow bone it's just a nice cream shade and then I am going in with Smashbox full exposure um, mascara and I'm just heavily applying the mascara to my lashes and I do this for both of my lashes obviously <laughs> Next, I'm moving on to the cheeks, and I'm using Wonder Woman Collection from MAC. It's a pink power mineralized skin finish, and I'm using a blush brush to apply it. I just swirled all the colors together, and I'm using it as a bronzer. And the brush that I'm using is TNT222, in case you were interested. Then after that, 
I'm gonna go on to highlighting the cheekbones. So the palette I'm using is from Beauty and the Beast Lorac and I'm using the shade Fearless and I am just using a random highlighting brush. It is from Real Techniques and I'm also gonna apply it onto the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow as well. Then I'm gonna go in with Max Wonder Woman Matte Russian Red Lipstick because I thought it'd be so much fun to do red lips because it is the 4th of July and it's Wonder Woman. I mean, I feel like out of all the th Wonder Woman things I've seen, you just can't have Wonder Woman without red lips. Am I right? Where am I right? <laughs> so on top of that, I'm gonna go in with Wo Max Wonder Woman Lip Gloss. It's a lip gloss and it's just Wonder Woman as the shade. And I'm just gonna put that right over the top. I hope you enjoy this Wonder Woman makeup tutorial and have a happy 4th of July. And remember, it's about what you believe and I believe in love. Only love will truly save the world. Thanks for watching.